in a day and age when the only real certainty is uncertainty, we want to create students at Charleston Collegiate School who have the grit and perseverance to go out and create a career rather than finding a job, especially when we don't know if those jobs will exist in another 10 years. One of the things we see in exhibition is that kids really get to show their creativity and we really see the process of learning. They get to apply their knowledge, they get to investigate, they get to collaborate, ask questions, and explore on their own. Inspired by the reading of the memoir, I Am Malala, the sophomores are encouraged to create a positive change in a local, national, or global community. In the beginning of the semester, each sophomore chose a topic that was meaningful to them as the center of their campaign for change. So I chose a local organization and it's called LOR. So I conducted research to give me an understanding of how much they needed and how many orphans they have helped, how many orphans there are in the United States, and what I could do to help them continue to help orphans. With the recent study that's been done at Stanford, we've learned that 90% of information that our students learn in the old traditional way, the information that's memorized, regurgitated on a test, and never really put to use, that information is gone forever. Our students are only retaining 10% of that. So if we're losing 90% of the content that we've taught in the traditional way, shouldn't we reassess how we teach? My presentation is how does music affect the brain? Music gives you all kinds of benefits in like quantitative reasoning and problem solving, but say you're offered a trick question, um, a musician will have special brain connections that will allow them to basically see around logic in different ways to you know, come to the solution of a problem. So you had like a list of questions that you gave your participants. Yes. What were some of the ones that you made up? Um, if you were shrunk to the size of a pencil and dropped in a blender, how would you get out? Was one of the ones that I made up. And the trick was that the blender's lid is not on and the blender's not on, so it's just a bowl so you can just climb out of it. We started with a very vague question, our essential question. It asks, what defines America and how has choice influenced that identity? To answer this question, we've studied two different time periods, 2001 and 1890 through 1920, otherwise known as the Progressive Era, and done a series of many projects within these time periods in the hopes of answering this question. So the real goal for our students goes far beyond college. College is no longer the guarantee of the good life that it used to be. And so we really want to put students out into the world who have the ability to tap into the right side of their brain to successfully navigate the world that's coming. Making those connections and really trying to individualize my experience is really important because in a professional work setting there is an aspect of it that is you know doing what you're asked but a lot of success in the real world is based on how you can be creative and how you can differentiate yourself from your peers. I think the exhibition is an incredibly difficult assessment in a much different way than a test because there is no one right answer especially for our essential question there's no one right way to answer it so as somebody who's very much a perfectionist that was out of my comfort zone to, to hear that there wasn't one way that I could do this that would be right, that I really had to create an individual project and you know be free thinking and step outside of the box. I think my opinion of what is academically challenging has changed quite a bit. This past year I've had to find a lot of my own answers and work towards them myself. It's not so much of there's just one answer, there's multiple answers and we have had to work on learning how to find them ourselves and researching and coming to our own conclusions without just being told what the one right answer is. Charleston Collegiate School produces students who can and will succeed in a rapidly changing world around us. I can collaborate. I can produce. I can persevere. I can communicate. I can problem solve. I can adapt. I can lead. I can innovate. I can invent. I will succeed. <laughs>